Drop the knife. You're watching what could very likely have ended as a deadly confrontation between a man wielding a knife and police. But these officers, trained only to use deadly force as a last resort, follow the man for five blocks, eventually de-escalating a tense situation and finally taking the man into custody. No one was hurt as a result. It's part of a new philosophy that came to the police department in Camden, New Jersey in 2013. With the highest homicide rate in the U.S., Camden had the label of the country's most dangerous city. A police force plagued with corruption, the decision was made to disband the entire police force, giving control over to the county to rebuild it. The county hired 411 officers, up from 250. Now there are fewer squad cars. Officers patrol the streets on foot and strive to have positive interactions with residents. The key for us is being in the community before crisis happens and meeting people on a human level. The Camden Police Force put into place one of the most restrictive use of force policies in the country with the idea that officers should think of themselves as guardians of the community, not warriors. Excessive force complaints against officers in Camden have dropped by 95 percent since 2014. So that was something that was foremost in this transformation, that if city residents didn't feel like they could trust the police or that the police saw them as human, this would not work. Last year, homicides were down by 42 percent, along with the overall crime rate. It's reflective of a nationwide downturn in crime, but supporters of reform say it's also thanks to a new way of policing.